Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to our channel. I'm Kathy and this is Chatty Kathy Budgets. On this channel, we are on a journey to pay off almost $42,000 in debt. How are we doing that? We are using an all cash based budgeting system and savings challenges so that we can set aside as much money as we can to put towards debt and to stay financially independent. If you want to follow us along on this journey, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment down below. Alright friends, happy Friday! We made it! Yay! So it is the very beginning of May and I thought I would actually go ahead and we could do a monthly budget together first and then the next video we will do our weekly budget for the first week of May. Um, I have a lot of new subscribers and I know when I do um, when I normally do the budget with me, I don't really go over our bills because, you know, we just set aside the same amount every week. So I thought we could do that together for May just to ensure that that amount we're putting aside every week is still going to work for us. So this calendar you can find on my Etsy shop. It's blank. Um, you can write in the dates, but over here, I added a column for the total amount of bills you would have to pay per each pay period, depending on when you get paid. And that number is what would go here for your bills. So for us, it's the same number. For you, it might be something different, but Let's go ahead and go through this together. Um, so the first of the month, Apple comes out for $6.37. That has already been taken care of with last week's pay that was already in there. Same with my car payment, that came out at $367.71. Now, I get paid every Thursday, so I've circled all of the paydays in a green Sharpie. So really, this first total that needs to come out is going to be all of these from this Saturday through Wednesday. So let's add those up together. So we have Apple. I have a lot of Apple charges, guys. I know. Um, alone for $4.57. Our cell phones. This is mine and my husband's cell phone. That's $91.78. Um, I make a monthly donation, so that's $10, and then Hulu comes out for $8.50. So that is $577.37, okay. All right, well, let's do that again. We're going to add up this group together. So on the 11th, Canva comes out for $14.99. On the 12th, we have another Apple charge for $302. On the 14th is our car insurance for $155.71. And then on the 15th, this is the bill heavy day. We do pay our mortgage a little differently. We pay it on the 15th and not the first. We've pretty much always done that since we got the mortgage and our bank is fine with that. So Mortgage is $2,075.15. Uh, Microsoft comes out for $1,807. And Amazon comes out for $1,499. I think this is my husband's Prime membership, so we do need to look at changing that to the yearly. And then Apple, it's two more charges. Um, I rounded it up to 11, but it's $5.31 twice. That's for our kids. They get, um, it's a monthly Roblox amount, Robux, whatever you want to call it. If you guys have children, you know the game and <laughs> what I'm talking about, but that's what that is. So this week is our heavy week at $2,000. $292.93. Okay. 
And then let's do that again for this week. This week's much smaller. I only have three bills that come out that week. Our electric, which I usually estimate around 340. Uh, medical, this is a telehealth thing that I do. And then our internet, which is 78.56. So this pay period, 463.56 comes out. All right, and if you guys are confused, stay with me so far. Basically, what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna go over how much you know, we have in our bank starting for May and then making sure that as we every week add the same amount, these amounts, even this large one, they'll be enough to be in there for them to come out. So last bill week is printer this is just my ink on demand and then we have uh safe phones for kids so we do pay it's a separate company but it's they have cell phones but they don't have internet or anything like that and there's a whole lot of monitoring on it so well worth the money as far as i'm concerned so 68.94 goes here all right that is all of the bills for the month. So let's total them all up to see what the monthly total is. All right, so wait a minute. That's not right. I forgot a big one somewhere. Maybe I didn't add it right. Let's try again. Nope, that is right because my car payment already came out. <laughs> if we added those two in, 367.71 plus 637, that would be $37.76. I usually round up about $37.80 for the month. So, yeah. So let's divide that by four. And that equals $944.22. Okay, and as you guys know, if you've been with me for a while, we usually leave $948 each paycheck. So, it looks so far like that might work, but let's just continue and make sure. All right, so the second worksheet that I use, we're gonna write in our opening balance for our checking account, which I don't remember what the change was, but it was 1526 and we'll just call it even. Um, and that again, because guys, you can see a lot of these well, every week except the mortgage week, it's less than $948 coming out. So that difference just keeps building week after week. So first week here, this is what's left after Apple and the car payment. We're going to put 577 37 Okay. So let's subtract those. One five. Two six minus 577.37, that leaves 948.63. All right, and if we add another 948 for our next paycheck. All right, take two. <laughs> Sorry guys, I wrote it a little wrong to begin with. So the 1526 is the opening balance um, after these came out, but before I just got paid. So we should still have $1,526 and then we're going to add the 948 from this paycheck. So then that would give our difference or our balance of $2,474. Okay. So then we bring that down. All right, so now we're gonna subtract the 577, 37, okay? So minus 
77, 37. That equals 18, 96, 63. We're gonna add another 948. That's right here, okay? That gives us 28, 44, 63. All right, so 28, 44, 63. So now our heavy week is going to come out, which is 22, 92, 93. We're going to subtract those. And that leaves 551.70. All right, so then we're going to add 948 again, which is going to give us 1499.70. All right. Subtract our 463, 56, okay, because we're right here for our third paycheck. And this is what's coming out after we get that paycheck. All right, so minus 463, 56 leaves us with $1,036.14. And then we get one more, 948, which leaves 1984.14. And then the last bit to come out is 68.94. And that leaves 1915.20. All right, and this is what we would carry over to next month to be the opening balance. So that again, we can still just set aside $948 every single week. We don't have to think about it. And we do this once in the beginning of the month, and then that's it. So. I hope that wasn't extremely confusing and I'm sorry if it was. <laughs> um, I also made a little note down here for myself that we have to pay the water bill on the 15th, but that is part of our sinking funds. We have annual and quarterly bills as a sinking fund. Um, so that is already covered. That is not counted in here, but it's just a note to myself to make sure I actually go on and pay it because it's not an auto payment that comes out. So. Let's go ahead and just do our monthly budget now. All right, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a little sip of something. Hold on, guys. All right, so for the entire month of May, for us, it is a magic month, which means we are getting five paychecks instead of the four. And as you can see here, we only need the four to cover all the bills. So this one is a bonus, okay? So that is gonna be really helpful to us at the end of the month. And if you've been with me a while now, you know I make salary. I am looking for a new job just because, you know, there's just, there's a lot of changes in my company and a lot of layoffs. Uh, I went over in more detail in another video, but for now, we're going to go with it that I'm still going to have that job for the entire month. So I make $988 a week because I'm salary. So times five weeks, that would be a total of $4,940. All right. And hubby, this is where I'm really doing the monthly one here. So his job as well, he has not had the opportunity to pick up a whole lot of extra shifts like he normally does. So let's go ahead and budget just on his base pay 
um, just to make sure we can still cover everything. So base pay for him is about $520. So times the five weeks, that would be 2,600. All right, and then Etsy, I do have about $50 scheduled to go into my account next week. So thank you, thank you, thank you for anyone who has purchased anything off my Etsy shop. Um, let's go ahead and add all of these together. Oops, 49.40 plus. Right. That's still not right. What am I doing, guys? Let's put the pen down. 4940 plus 2600 plus 50. Good Lord, you know it's Friday and it's been a long week. <laughs> All right, so that is $7,590. All right, and we just did our bills and we know I round up to $3,780. All right, so if we take the $7,590, we minus the $3,780, we get $3,810. All right, so moving on to our wallet, hubby gets $100 a week for his gas and anything else he needs, <clears throat> so that would be $500 for the month. All right, and then groceries, we're gonna do 150 a week. So that would be 750 for the month. All right, gas is 60 a week. So that would be 300. Kiddos, this is their allowance. They each get $10. So that would be $20 a week. For the month, that would be $100. And our cat pets, this is $10 a week, so it'd be 50. And then miscellaneous, we're doing $5 a week, so that would be 25 for the month. So let's add these up. All right, and that equals 17.25. And if we take that from our 38.10, that would leave $2,085. All right, so if we move up here to our cash envelopes. Um, I haven't been stuffing these much recently, again, because my husband hasn't been making that much, but now they're almost all depleted. So let's just estimate doing $5 a week and we will go from there. <laughs> if we have to change it, we can, but for now, Let's estimate on the high side. So that would be 25 for each of these. Which would give us a total of $125. All right, so if we take that from our 2,085, that leaves $1,960. All right, so that is what we will divvy up between month ahead, um, 100 envelope challenge, which we're using towards our sinking funds. Month ahead is challenges we're doing to try and get a month ahead on our bills. Our Monday minis, games, scratch offs, and then YouTube, this is our monetization tracker so we are putting in a dollar for every 10 new subscribers and a dollar for every 50 new watch hours so the minis the games and the scratch offs these are all going to go towards debt um the minis we've been doing good at 40 a week so that would be 200 for the month okay we've been doing 25 a week for games and scratch offs because um, that's been working out well for us. And again, we've had, you know, lower income. So 25, I know what that is. That's 125 for each of these. And I've been on average just doing $10 a week here. 
So budget wise, let's just go with that. All right, so two, three, four, 55. So that's 500 over here. All right, so 1960 minus 500. So that leaves 1460. So let's just keep it simple and we can do 730 for each of these. And that's because of the bonus paycheck that we're getting this week. So that would be the 1460, leaving the 500, which would give us $0 left. All right, and I know I say this in a lot of my videos, but that is our zero-based budget. As you can see, that does not mean we are running our checking account down to zero. That does not mean we are spending every single dollar. We're just telling every dollar what to do. This month ahead and the 100 envelope challenges, these stay here, you know, as we're building them up. The month ahead is so, is so we can get a month ahead on our bills. The 100 envelope challenge for us, we're doing this to go towards our actual sinking funds. So just because it says it's a zero based budget, <clears throat> it doesn't mean we are spending everything. We are just giving a job and a purpose to every single dollar. So that is all I have for the monthly budget. Stay tuned, we will do our weekly paycheck budget. Um, and our cash stuffing and some more savings challenges. And we do have to unstuff all of our April savings challenges. So stay tuned for those upcoming videos. And again, happy Friday. And I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. And I will see you in the next video. Happy budgeting. Bye.